Hello everyone, Taylorson here, and welcome to something a little bit different. We're going to be on F1 today. I know it's a bit different from uh, Tour de France, but bear with me. Um, it's a game that I've played for a long time, but I've not played it for a good few months. So uh, I'm, guess I'm going to be rusty as hell, I guess. Um, and as you can see from the team name up there, we're going to be bringing back an old name. An old F1 team, all the way back 10 years ago, we've got US F1. They never actually got onto the grid, but um, I got a livery very early on in the game that looked like the American flag, so I had to do it. So basically, we're going to be going right from the bottom to the very top. We're going to try and make this as realistic as possible. We're going to be on a, uh, on a team with no money. We're going to go as the lowest sponsor, I think and see if we can work our way up the grid that way. Simple, not really, let's go. So, we've got to go with the lowest one in my opinion here, because, hear me out, USF1 didn't even get to the first race. So, completing a full season, they would have taken that back in 2010. Anyway, we'll go with this. 4.2 million. Uh, Renault or Honda? I'll put. I'll leave this to chat. Renault or Honda? I think we've got to go Renault. We'll go Renault. That leaves us with a driver. Oh, get him off my screen. Um. Okay. Well. I think we see a viable option here. He's American. And he will suit well into the USF1 team. Ilot absolutely deserves a seat in Formula 1. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to give him that. Oh no, we got 1.5 left. But I feel like going for the American. Just to have an all-American team and see how terribly we do. I think we got to go Korea in this situation. I'm going Korea. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Well, I think we'll confirm that. That delivery will be running this season. Right, here we, we go. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. By the way, this is the first time uh, I've played my team. I've watched a lot of my team stuff. Um, but this is my first time playing it. Fight and win. Come on, Seattle. Fight and win. Is there a potential American thing? Like a gun that we can use? Was that too far? I think we'll just go for a U if, uh, if there isn't any. Right, there's a Q, but that doesn't really help us. Um, I mean, there's an oval for... Oh, no, it's a donut. That's American. I mean, that's a U. It's a bit dodgy, but it's a U. They all look a bit dead. I mean, I guess I'll just go that. I mean, we've got to go 22, otherwise it's not a full send. Right, let's see how this goes. Gonna be fighting against the Williams, you know? It's Will Buxton. Welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Mana, Caterham, HRT, and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Hello. Happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? I won't lie, it's been a lot of work and there's even more to come, but I wouldn't have taken on the task if I didn't believe in myself and the team. 
every team needs two drivers. But what was it that drew you to your teammate? He's American. That's it. Their skill set really suits our team. I guess it does, purely because he's American. I'll go their skill set really suits our team. No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? <laughs> no one. Yeah, we're basically building a terrible car um, that loses races. We're, it's it's basically a joke of a team um, because it's USF1. But I predict that we're going to have a few close races with Williams this season. A few. How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? <laughs> terrible. Um... Making the car as responsive as possible was one of our main goals. See, they don't have corners in America. They just go round and round. So we won't be working on corners. Um, chassis balance. Maximising traction. Maximising traction, I guess. How are you planning to catch up to them? Uh, drive fast. I doubt the people in the factory know what ERS is. It's going to be tough. We'll have a better picture after the first race. A fresh pair of eyes can find some solutions the other team haven't seen, and we found some unique ways of reducing drag, potentially. Uh, I mean, reduce drag. Let's go. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? Oh, we have Dive Bomb McGee over here. Um, overtaking is all about power, so we've been working hard at getting every piece out of the power unit. I mean, we could just go full power. Uh, we've developed an incredibly light car. We haven't. Um, we've produced a really streamlined car. We probably haven't. Um, so I guess we just have to stick it all in power. Overtaking is all about power, so we've been working hard to get every bit of performance out of the power unit, Will. And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Uh, I mean, I, don't, I doubt we have an aero department, and I doubt we have a chassis department. Um, so I mean, aerodynamics is immediately out of the question. Uh, chassis department is also out of the question. Durability... Are there any American products that are durable? I mean, there are no British products that are durable. Doesn't matter. Power. Well, this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. Cheers, Will. Well, that was uh, easy. I was expecting that to take a bit longer, but what, what are we in? Quality stuff. Ruth tells me the service should all be online, so we're now officially up and running. Good. What's the social media team like? Any good? No? No? Okay, right. I'll have to run that then. Um, uh, by the way, I'm not actually making a Twitter account for this team. Please don't take that seriously. Um, I'm looking forward to being part of the enduring and successful legacy we're about. <laughs> Stop waffling, Carl. You know we're making a bad car every season. I don't need to tell you that both our car and our facilities are looking a touch on the basic side right now. Let's go. What's happened? What's happened with Ruth? Thank you for all the patience during the... No way have we already bottled our internet. Have we not paid this month? I'm pleased to confirm that the issues with our internal network have been resolved. Oh, Ruth, you've done something good. That's the only thing we'll be doing good all season. Oh, let's go. Look at the state of that. How are we so high up? Is it purely the powertrain that's... Okay, yeah. Okay, so the powertrain is uh, giving us the advantage there. And I guess we suck in... Uh... Uh, we... It's not terrible in aero. It's just chassis is a bit dead. Power's OP. Okay, fair enough. We drive fast. We we may not be able to turn, but we drive fast. Maybe a bit of durability, if I can afford it. I can't afford it. Thanks. Great. I can't afford anything. Great. Great quality. Well, 
Uh, I mean, that was fun. Uh, when's it? 12th of March. When's the first race? Bruh. So we'll do power and durability first week. And then, yeah, okay, driver final days, final five. I'm just doing this first practice so we can uh, see what the car actually looks like. And if I've absolutely messed up the design, you know, it took me a good 60 seconds to choose the colours. Morning, boss. Jeff oh here. My God. Thanks again for bringing me on board. You found a lot of talented people for this team. I can't wait to see what we can accomplish. Our journey to the Constructors' Championship starts here today, and the car is ready to head out whenever you are. Constructors' Championship. Ah, <laughs> you're you're at you know you're joking, right? Again, I'll be slow at the start, but you know, by the end of well, I say by the end of the season, we won't get past. I was going to say Malaysia, but that's not on the calendar, is it? That's how long ago I played my last F1 game. Um, what's the second race? I don't know. We won't get any further than uh, Australia, at least. What's it looked like then? What's the state of it? To be honest, okay, that was a bit of a corner cut, but. That's not bad car. I don't think. Don't cut this thing. I don't even care that I... Oh! Listen. Listen, trust the process. Trust the process, yeah? Um, you know, I'll report that one back to the factory. You know, we'll get some uh, useful data from that. Okay. Right, I've, uh, I forgot I... Listen. It's just not gone well for me, to be honest. It's 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 not been a good start. I've just binned it live on air. You know? All of the cameras are on me. USF1 is a laughing stock again.